Okay. You go stand right. You stand right there. Okay. Steph, for all the talk coming in about you and Harden, what's that like being on the court when it's it's obviously a team thing? It's back and forth, back and forth between you two. It's entertaining basketball, but it's uh, we're <laughs> we're both supposed to. Uh, you know, That's too well, Dad. I know. Hold on one second. Okay. Keep quiet. <laughs> we're both supposed to help our team win and uh, do what we can to impact the game. So. Uh, there's gonna be stretches where, you know, he plays well, and obviously he did that for us. This is so funny. Coming in. Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry, the 6'3 junior guard out of Davidson. Back-to-back -back titles, three and four years. Left. They double him in the corner. It's going to be Utah ball. Utah ball. The final seconds. The world champs fall in Salt Lake City. Dress over here. I wanted to get one of the ones in the back. Uh, the scene they have on it that you color yourself is different for. We messed up and brought Riley here. She was like two years old. Now every time she remembers I'm going to Utah, it's like, hey. It's easy for me to bounce back from a tough game, a tough loss, a tough season, whatever, knowing that. Uh, Basketball has a certain place in my life, but there are other things that I get fulfillment from and that are important to me. May I see your ID, please? That's a good picture of you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Is it is a little heavy. Yeah, have a great one. Happy holidays. Same to you. Let's go find Grashi and let's go get, let's go get ready. When I'm in the gym, whether it's four or five hours in the summer or throughout practice, like, I'm locked in. I'm not thinking about really anything. This says, when I was a little boy, I used to wear tuxedos. My career is first and foremost in those moments. Well, real matchy match tonight. First father daughter dance can't hold anything back. I'm nervous. And when I'm at home, I'm, I'm just I'm just dead and, and a husband and, and trying to be present as much as I can. Stephen? Stephen Curry! Stephen Curry! How could she read Corset? When he goes steps between the lines, he's a ferocious. I mean, he wants to win at all costs. But when the game's over, to be able to shut that down and be just a normal guy, a lot of players in the league can't do that. Raish is in LA for almost four weeks to shoot our show. So there are things that we're gonna go through as a family that we haven't gone through. <laughs> I have to play 82 games. I know I have to take four East Coast road trips. I know All-Star Weekend will come. We have to go somewhere. All that is pretty much the same, but the details of how we balance everything, especially with Aisha's career popping off the way it is, um, it's all still a learning process for sure. Hey, Kevin. Hey. Look at you, big Championships are supposed to be hard to rack up, right? Four and five years? <laughs> that would be tough to do. They're incentivized by the three-peat. But I look at them right now and I just worry about their concentration level 
using their mental fatigue, can they find the big mountain to inspire? <laughs> is averaging, he's averaging 27, he's averaging 33, he's shooting 55% from the field, 53% from three-point range, 53% from three-point range. He's on pace to hit more than 503 pointers this season. You get a guy taking 40 footers and you're on the sidelines going, yeah, it's, it's a good shot, good job. <laughs> I explained that. I, we have, we've never seen this before. Yeah, I called him, like, Yo, what happened? And he told me Atlanta, that's what where, happened. What that? Atlanta, they had a team function that day. And they all, yes. Are we going to Portland? We're in Portland. We're already here. Introducing the lineups tonight as the Blazers are set to take on the Lakers. Blazers off to a 6 and 2 start, 3 and 1 here at home. Lakers and champions are here, baby. Steph Curry's here, the league leading scorer. He's here to see Seth Curry, the younger brother. It's very rare for Steph to come to one of my games, especially during the season. He's got games going on. You hear the countdown, Curry off the screen. And I know he made it a point to want to come check on my game, show some support, so. It's always fun to see him in the crowd. Curry in transition to three off the backyard. We love each other. We love spending time with each other. When we play one on one in the backyard, it wasn't many like fist fights or nothing, but it, it was, nobody was going to let the other person have their way. Growing up, I feel like I had an advantage having an older brother who was always a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger. Always competitive, yeah. Still are. One on one, video games, any, you name it. Stefan never took it easy on Seth. Seth always, his famous quote was, he's cheating, he's cheating. Y'all let Stefan cheat. I had that competitive drive to be as good as him, to be him and everything. So that, that's what drove me every day. I got up to, to try to be him, be better than him. And he continued to push me. Older brother, I think I'm always more proud of him than anything. As I'm growing up and starting my family and raising my daughter, I try to, to watch some of the stuff Steph does, raising his kids. For me, the priority is not sacrificing you know, the, the key moments in life that involve my family. Ryan, stand behind me, please. Ready? Ooh. Thrown it too low. Okay, ready? This is gonna be the good one. There it is. Oh! Run the bases! Run the bases! Run, or wrong way. Run the bases! Nice. What is my wife doing back there? What's she doing? <laughs> About two years ago, my dad was going through all of our old stuff. And he found this paper from my high school theater class. Teacher said, write down what you look for in a significant other. And like in high school, why are you asking teenagers that? But it's so funny because... <laughs> And of course, my dad ran to show Steph, and look at this. It said in capital letters at the bottom, no athletes, they're jerks. <laughs> my life. That's my life right there. Everything that is important to me has either been encouraged, supported, sacrificed for, or just kind of born through her. She is the 
the part that has always like found the best in me and made me the best version of myself. I feel like I really found out who I am through her. And there is no reality or world where I am who I am without her and what she's uh, poured into my life. I, I'd known Stefan since I was 14. He was the hot guy in church. Like all the girls had a crush on him. She says that I was like, she says I was popular at the Wednesday night service and all. I was really tiny and little and a little a tad bit introverted through my high school years. Um, and so I, that was never even an option to me. I, first of all, I wasn't even allowed to date. She felt a little intimidated, but when I saw her at the time, I, w I was intimidated of her because how beautiful she was. But we had like a little small talk, like the innocent, whatever. And we don't know what to say, so we just started talking about candy. I pray, Lord, keep the girls away from him. He needs to be focused. Uh, my kids couldn't date officially till they were 16. From high school to, to when I went to college, it kind of went our separate ways. I went to Davidson. Um, she moved out to L.A. to pursue acting. When I become famous and I'm on Driven, see this is what you're watching right now. Yeah, I made this when I was 16. So stick that in your back pocket. I moved out at 17, had three jobs. Quit all the jobs because I had booked this show and shot like one season of this show. After my sophomore year in college, uh, I got invited out to the ESPYs. Like, I hadn't really been to L.A. before, so let me try to reach out to somebody I know and kind of show me around. So I think I Facebook messaged her and... He was like, you want to hang out? And I was like, mm. Because I always noticed, like, my friends and stuff that were in relationships in high school with the, the jocks. Um, they had big heads. With the steal. Taking on Bold and Ann. So I was like, okay. So I gave him my number. But I just remember being like, he's not going to be a nice person. He's not going to be a nice person. So I picked him up in my 98 Astro van. And... <laughs> went to Hollywood Boulevard. Went to the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. He had on like a 3X white tee and probably some XL khaki pants, cargos with the pockets. Uh. I bought some very overpriced Oakley sunglasses trying to stunt, spent my last dollar on them. Um, and that was it. We like spent the evening being silly, eating candy, looking in cop cars, to see if they actually had donuts in their front seat. It was like we had been best friends forever and he was the nicest person. And two weeks later, she got laryngitis and had to move back to Charlotte to be with her family. Um, a lot of good came out of that laryngitis. <laughs> For sure. I knew from the get-go that she was the one for him. And you could tell from that moment forward the way that they interacted with each other. And she genuinely loved my son. Like, I could tell she was just like, Stephen. I mean, so much so I was like gagging, you know, often I was like, y'all two are really like over overboard with this. But, uh, you know, but that's what a mom wants. We started our relationship and, you know, I moved out here to the Bay when I got drafted and um, certain things happened in her acting career that didn't really pan out the way she wanted to. But she has so much to offer. She's talented, passionate, and she wants to inspire and hope to have given her the confidence to say you know, that she can take on everything. No matter the arena, It's so funny because people always think like you pop out of nowhere and nobody ever sees like the journey. Isha Curry here with a garden update. But I had my blog for quite some time and then I started the whole YouTube thing. Hey everybody and welcome to the first inaugural Fitness Friday. And then CSN Bay Area saw my blog and noticed that I was like putting all my recipes on there. And I've 
loved to cook since I was a little girl. I just never, it never clicked in my head, like, oh, like, why don't you, you can make a career out of this, like, do what you love, right? One of my family favorites, steak and potatoes. Piece up the salmon real nice so that when we put that rub on there, an option that's a little bit sweet and a little bit smoky. I think a hard thing for me is, like, still people are like, oh, well, this is only happening to you because of Stefan. And, like, while I'm aware that, like, some doors have been open because of that, I always say, like, I have to walk through them and I have to prove myself. I'll go random places and people recognize me. First thing they say is, I love your wife. I'm like, me too. I would have never even taken this like leap of faith if he wasn't there encouraging me every step of the way and sometimes like pushing me when I don't want to do something myself. In that sense, I wouldn't have the career I have if it wasn't for him because I would have been scared. She had to sacrifice for me so we could start a family here in the Bay and she could support me in, in what I was doing. And that's what she wanted to do. Um, and that's what we bring out of each other. I hear my kids, are my kids running around here? Where y'all at? They're filming. Were you trying to be quiet and you just, I heard you whisper? That's fine. You wanna go stand back there and watch? But you have to be, uh oh, you okay? I'm quiet. You okay? <laughs> Go sit down. <laughs> Go get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, to win a championship, and everybody's got to be locked. I remember just being excited, to be honest. Like, us being uh, young and getting married early, we were really on our own in the Bay Area. Nothing really intimidated me about it. What's next? Oh, it's the best thing that ever happened to us. <laughs> I had great examples of how to do it the right way and all the things that my parents instilled in me. You want to hopefully be able to, uh, to live those out. But we felt like we, we could do it and we were ready for it. Remember holding Riley for the first time in the hospital room in Monroe, North Carolina. Um, and then the rest is a, is a blur. So that's when life actually really started. Raising daughters as a dad is like one of the most unbelievable feelings you can have. But to have a son, that was a good day. Are you four months old? Yes, you are. and his record is much better against me than mine is against him. Low King, I kind of want Seth to strip Stefan and then go down and shoot a three on him or block his shot. I do want that in my heart so bad. Say, yeah, big brother, and then I want him to pound his chest. And <laughs> uh, the Warriors have had good success against the Blazers in recent vintage. Here's Durant handing off to Curry slips the screen. 
between defenders and laid it up and in. Beautiful play by Curry. Get that dribble. Leaving the Blazers, they come the other way. Seth, deep three. At this point, I feel like my parents are secretly rooting for me to have any leg up on Steph I can, because I know he's gotten the, the most of me for most of our lives. Myers, catch, redirect Seth in the air of three. Got it! Oh, sensational play by the Blazers in transit. Saw Seth play like 30 games before we got to play against each other this year, and there's no coincidence that he had his best game to date when he showed up at Oracle playing against me. Golden State Warriors. It's not fun for anybody playing against your brother. You know, you want him to do well, but you got to do your job, and you want to play well at the same time. So he wanted that one really bad. Aisha got a nice little ear infection right now. She got to take care of that. Good to see you, my man. I, mean, I always, I always, I always have to check. It's over here. I know whose eye that is. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Wifey. Oh my fault. That's my baby. They're gonna love me, they're gonna hate me. You want the pen? You ever try our ice cream? I, what? No, I have not. I don't know how she does it, to be honest. Not so much like how she balances, like where she is and what her responsibilities are. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Yeah. 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 It's also just like the the mental awareness of like trying to, you know, be there for everybody. <laughs> In tune with Riley, what Riley's going through emotionally at six years old and what a three year old is going through in terms of finding her own personality with being the middle child and, and having a seven month old, which anybody who's had kids understands how demanding that is. And that's something I'm almost envious of it because I.
extremely thankful.